So, nandito na naman po tayo sa aking munting kusina. And for today's video, guys, I will make some dessert, a New York-style cheesecake using the Philadelphia cream cheese. So, guys, I'm excited with this one and sana kayo rin. Just keep on watching and let's start! So, guys, let's start. So, I'm gonna use 12 crackers of Greyhounds. I will just put it inside the Ziploc bag. So using this ruling pin guys, we will just break them into a crumbs. But if you have a food processor sa bahay nyo, mas madali po. It would be more easier if you're gonna use food processor. So let's do it. After this, let's just transfer in a bowl. Let's put a 1 tablespoon of granulated sugar and a 6 tablespoon of melted butter. So let's just mix it until it's finally moistened. So this is it guys. So now let's transfer into a pan. Just press down the crumbs so that we can make a crust for our cheesecake. So guys, I already preheated my oven into 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's bake our crust for 8 minutes. So guys, let's set aside our crust for now. So let's do the filling, guys. So guys, I'm using Philadelphia cream cheese because it's really great for your cheesecake. So using 4 pieces of 8 oz of Philadelphia cream cheese, just put it on a bowl. So guys, make it sure that their cream cheese is at room temperature para hindi na siya mahirap i-mix. Add 1 cup granulated sugar and let's just mix it in a medium high speed for 5 minutes. So guys, try to scrape the sides as needed so that we can get a chance of cream cheese. And then, six large eggs, adding them one by one. So guys, after the eggs beaten well, let's put our one fourth cup of sour and cream. One and a half teaspoon of vanilla extra. And let's just continue mix it into a low speed until it's blended. Try to scrape it the both sides. And after that guys, let's pour our mixture filling over the cold crust. Again, tap a few times to release the air bubbles. So guys, after that, let's just put a foil on the both sides just to prevent a water leaking. This way of baking a cheesecake is to prevent crack on our cheesecake. I already tried the other way of baking this cheesecake which is uh, 
I put the cheesecake alone in the oven and may crack nga po siya. So, I try this way to prevent crack on our cheesecake. So, using this rectangular roasting pan, let's just put our cheesecake inside. And let's pour the water inside. So, guys, we're gonna need the 2 inches of boiling water. Let's see. So, guys, using the pot holders, let's put our cheesecake inside the oven. Let's put it on the center. So, guys, I set my oven for 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's bake it for 15 minutes. So after that 15 minutes guys, we will adjust the temperature of our oven from 450 to 225. And let's continue bake it for 1 hour. And there you go guys. Let's continue bake it for 1 hour. So guys, our cheesecake now is done. So guys, after that, let it cool in a room temperature until it's cooled down. So let's put in a rock, guys, and let's just wait until it's totally cooled down. So guys, after it's cooled down, our cheesecake now is needs to be chilled and set before serving. Cover with a clean wrap. So guys, refrigerate for at least 4 hours. Or if you want, you can do that overnight. It would be better. So guys, finally, our cheesecake is out of the fridge. So using this hot knife, guys, let's slice on the both sides. So now, let's release the pan. So guys, let's put on the cake stand before I gonna put our cheesecakes. I will just put a wet tissue para hindi siya mag-slide pag in-slice na natin. And there you go guys, that's our cheesecake and this is ready for serving. Let's do the slice now. So again guys, using this warm knife to slice our cheesecake to have a clean slice so and look at our slice guys our cheesecake so let's do the serving now so for our serving now I have some cherries that we will put on top So there you go guys, this cheesecake is ready for taste us. Alright guys, let's do the taste test now. Alright, go ahead first and That's um very nice. It's smooth. It's rich. It's uh, tasty. It tastes like something you get at the uh, cheesecake factory or something like that. And not to mention, it looks really nice too. You did good, honey. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. Just a little bite. Oh, very good. I'm speechless. This is perfect, guys. Right. So we're approved. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope that you like this dish. And guys, if you want to taste this cheesecake, just make your own and follow my way. So guys, just give it a thumbs up if you like these cheesecakes. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and hit the notification bell for an update to you on my next video. So guys, enjoy the rest of the day and have a great day. Bye-bye.